The voice you're hearing right now isn't my real one. It's actually a clone version. Uh, created by Learn With Kuru. And today he's going to show you how you can generate a free clone voice of any creator or even your own. Imagine having the power to create a perfect copy of your voice, or even your favorite YouTuber's or celebrity's voice, with just a few seconds of audio. Sounds amazing, right? AI voice cloning can change the game, letting you generate any voice you want for scripts without paying over and over to sites like Eleven Labs. But here's the catch. Most voice cloning tools out there give you glitchy results. Some voices sound too fast, others just don't sound right. And let's be real, finding a good tutorial on YouTube is tough. Most are just sponsored ads. In this video, I'm spilling the secrets on how to clone any voice perfectly, whether it's yours or a famous star's. I'll show you a website that's practically free, giving you 10,000 characters of voice cloning per Gmail account. Yep, you can. Even use multiple accounts to keep it free. Once you start earning from YouTube or other social media with your AI clone voices, you can purchase the plans or just create a new Gmail to keep going. Ready to unlock this awesome trick and start creating epic voice clones? Let's get started. To create your own cloned voice, Start by opening your browser and searching for Hilo AI. Click on the first link that appeared. You might think this is just an AI video generator, but bear with me. Once the dashboard loads, look at the top where you'll find an audio option. Click on it and a new website called Minimax Audio will open. Next, go to the top right corner and click the sign in button. Then sign up using your Gmail account. After signing up, you'll receive 10,000 free credits to use. In the text to speech section, you'll find a library of premium voices. If you like any of them, Simply click Use to select one. However, since we're focused on voice cloning, navigate to the left side of the dashboard. Under the AI Tools section, you'll see three options. Voice Design, Voice Clone, and Voice Isolator. Click on Voice Clone. This will take you to the voice cloning interface. Here, you can upload an audio file up to 20 megabyte containing a clean recording of your voice. Or you can click the Record Audio button on the right to record instantly. Since I already have my audio, I'll upload it. After uploading, scroll down to the Advanced Settings section, you'll find two options. Remove background noise to clean up any background noise in your audio and accent optimization to replicate your accent or another creator's voice using a three to seven second audio clip. For now, I'll leave both options turned off. Further down, you'll see the text preview option. Choose the language for your cloned voice audio. The tool supports many languages, including Indian languages, but I'll select English. You can either use the sample text provided by the tool or write your own. I've written my own text. Finally, check the box to agree to the term of service, then click Generate. You can create up to three voice clone slots and use them whenever you want. Once the voice clone preview is generated, play it to listen. If it sounds perfect, click Confirm. A voice registration interface will then appear where you need to enter a name for your voice. I'll name mine Learn with Kuru. Next, select the voice language. Since mine is English, I'll keep it as English. For the gender, I'll choose male. There's also an option to add a description for your voice, but I'll leave it empty. Then click Save Voice. Once your voice is saved, click the Home button. Under the text-to-speech section, go to voice selection, and in the My Voice category, you'll find your cloned voice. Click Use to select it. Next, paste your script and choose your preferred model. I'll stick with the default model, then click Generate. Additional settings will appear, allowing you to adjust the speed, pitch, and volume of the voice to your preference. After making your adjustments, click Generate again. Once the voice is generated, click the Download button in the bottom right corner to save it. Now, let's compare my original input voice with the AI-generated cloned voice. Hi, I am Learn with Kuru and in this video, I will show you how to clone your own voice and use it repeatedly without needing to record each time. This tool simplifies the process for you. Hey, how's it going? The voice you are hearing right now is a clone of my voice created using Minimax Audio. You can hear that my cloned voice was nearly identical to the original. Now, let me guide you on how to create a voice clone of a YouTuber like Mr. Beast, which you can use in your videos or shorts to boost their viral potential. Go to YouTube. To find a suitable audio sample of Mr. Beast, search for Mr. Beast podcast and select a video where he's speaking alone to avoid interruptions from other voices. Screen record about 10 to 15 seconds of the video. Next, open your browser and search for Video to Audio Converter. Click on the first link that appears. Once the website's interface loads, upload your screen recording and click Convert. After the audio is generated, click Download to save it. Since the audio may not be clean yet, visit the Adobe Podcast website. Under the Enhanced Speech section, upload the downloaded audio file. Once the audio is enhanced, download the clean version. Once you have the enhanced audio, return to the Minimax Audio website. Click on the Voice Clone option, upload the enhanced MrBeast audio file, keeping 
moving the language set to English. In the text to preview area, write whatever, then check the terms of service box and click generate. Listen to the generated audio to ensure it's perfect. If it sounds good, click confirm. In the voice registration interface, name the voice Mr. Beast. Set the language. To English, select male as the gender and save the audio. Next, go to the home page. Under voice selection, you'll see the Mr. Beast voice listed in the My Voice section. Click use to select it. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. Drop a comment with your next video topic suggestion. And if you want to create thumbnails in minutes, check out the video popping up on your screen right now. Bye, see you soon.